We go to San Jose's lineup. One change to the team that lost up in Portland midweek. Yeah, Yarrow and goal. Wilson, red card, rescinded. He's back in the lineup next to Rodriguez. And a couple of changes for the team that went nil-nil against Messi in Miami on Wednesday night. Yeah, most importantly here, no Ojeda, no Araujo uh, due to yellow card suspension. The newcomer, the Argentine 23-year-old attacking midfielder, and he makes his PayPal Park debut here tonight. And getting his third start of 2024 with the Quakes. We're underway here in the first half with the Earthquakes attacking from left to right across your screen. Fourth time these teams will meet in Northern California's seventh all-time meeting. And it is going to be a change here for Oscar Pareja. And it comes in the opening 15 minutes. Lynn, good collection with a defender on his back, picks out Lodero. Muriel now into some open space. Thorhausen finding his way into the attacking third. Pellegrino trying to get there defensively. And a half cross, half shot, caught, caught between two thoughts maybe, and it winds up in the gloves of Yarbrough. 26 minute of play, and all of a sudden it's the Quakes that are starting to probe, look for openings of Obasi. Quick ball off his feet, Grueso. Grueso, Garese comes up with his first big save of the night. Plays it right back for Amal Pellegrino. Lopez can lead the charge here. As they slip it in behind the back four for Espinosa. First time looking in under the near post. Cleared away by Orlando City. That's a great ball there. And Pellegrino not on the same page. First starting near post. And there. And heading to the back post. Just not on the same page for that. Espinosa finally a little bit of help too as well. Lopez, Lopez letting it fly right into some traffic and it pops back out to the edge of the 18. Espinosa trying to clip it across to the backside. It falls loose here and a chance. Big save from Garcia and then touched out of play. Yarbrough hasn't really been forced into any tough decisions so far here tonight. Long throw into the near post. All the way out top. Follow up chance will go wide but well hit there by Dagerdon Thorhausen. Here's the Spanish right back one more time. And now Espinosa into space. Great weighted ball. A capo back onto the near post. Intended for a ball, but see, but pushed away. Espinosa with the secondary ball. Backside for Rodriguez, and it goes just wide. Second great look for the 26-year-old center back. As much crossing from him tonight as we have seen in the past. Surge forward here for Orlando. Can they get some numbers through? Backside here. Lord Hudson, and he sends it wide. The gap was closing quickly. But again, that's where those fresh legs between the two of them have to be on the same page. And maybe try to stretch this defense a little bit. Seventy plus minutes on the night without Malik Badawi Torres, just outside the edge of the 18. Muriel will make the attacking run. That creates space here for Torres. Inside for Lodero, squeaking it through. Numbers inside the area, still looking. Save there from Yago, his biggest of the night. Not out of danger just yet. A little interchange here, 40 yards out from San Jose's goal. Just not able to find that defining, penetrating ball to get it into a really dangerous spot, at least not yet. Torres spins away from pressure. Long distance, and that one will go up and over the bar and into the ultras, back behind William Yarbro and the San Jose net. Turnover. Espinosa trying to feed it through. Instead, it's Lopez trying to leave it for Costa. It's going to go wide to the near post. Galese there, but he might have been screened to not see it. Really covering a lot of ground on the other side of the ball. Not getting a chance to see him in the attack as much as we're used to. Early ball for Lynn. Lynn with a chance to knock it down. And I think Yombro got a left paw onto it to keep it out of the back of the net and keep us locked in at nil nil. Second corner of half number two. Lodero to deliver. Headed high into the air. Loose ball. Is there a breakout moment here? Skane pushing forward. Finds Preston Judd out into open space. Galese came and then he went back. 
It's Espinosa. Espinosa onto his left foot and he'll send it wide. The numbers were there. The space was there. Talked about how they've been at the top before. They've been in the middle. Now they're trying to get back to where they want to be as a team. But also recognizing the time and place is gained. Let's it go himself and a big save from Galese. His best of the second half without question. As we close in on 90 minutes and head toward stoppage time. Espinosa. Great delivery into the heart of the area. Pushed away. Jacaris trying to keep it alive, but it's Angulo who battles to win it. And now into some open space. Off and running. The Colombian full speed ahead. Numbers in the box as he hits the brakes. All the way across onto the backside. In front, and it's 1 nothing. Orlando City has found the breakthrough. Leads to a transitional moment. No one's going to keep pace with Angulo. He rounds the corner. When he cuts it back, he sees this chance. And this is Yule. Look at Yule here. Just overcommits to that ball. A complete miss hit from Ojeda. Falls to the feet. You see just a complete miss hit there. And at times, you got to create your own luck. Falls to Lynn and doesn't have to do much at that point. Yarbrough so close to a clean sheet in this one. Espinosa going to be showing a yellow card here in second half stoppage time certainly for probably his discussion with referee Malik Madawi back inside Lonero will win the ball and there is the full time whistle really against the trend of the second half when it looked like San Jose might sniff out a winner it's Oscar Pareja